back to Persona 5. It's been a hot minute. It's really been a hot minute since I have um, played Persona. It's been a hot minute since I've recorded Persona. Um, if you've been paying attention to what my uploads have been, they've been very sporadic. Um, life has just been all over the place. Like, I lost the drive to even want to record anymore, and I was like, just fuck it. Like, I don't care. No one actually truly even bothers watching anyway, so why should I bother? But in reality, I record for myself. But even still, like, I just lost the drive to even want to play video games. Like, I didn't feel like playing Persona, I didn't feel like playing Final Fantasy, I didn't feel like just playing regular games that I wasn't recording. But recently I decided, I'm like, you know what, I just need to stop being a little bitch and just get it done. Um, so, with that said, we're back at it. We need to go send a calling card and then leave the palace. So, um, we're gonna do that. But to send the calling card... We need to get out. So we need to return to the real world. He's still kind of worried, but we gotta do this. I can't even begin to fathom what Monorame's treasure may be. Either way, we'll steal it for sure. Oh, and you all did great today. Beautiful. I don't know why I didn't just finish this last time. We only did two things. We finally secured our route to the treasure. All we need to do now is send the calling card. Okay, I've been waiting for this. Anyways, when are we gonna send it? I guess that's part. I guess that part's up to you, dude. Let us know when you need us. Honestly, we're gonna do it right away. Honestly, um, the green screen is here, but it's kind of weird. I guess the since the light is like right behind it, it's like gray. It's fine anyway. But yeah, you're supposed to meet at Inokashira Park for school tomorrow. What did you What did you forget? Kawakami said there was a community cleanup event. I'm glad you told me. You did great today. You tired? No, not at all, actually. All we have to do now is send the calling card to Matarame. Alright, it's finally time. Now all we gotta do is decide when we're gonna do it. Shouldn't we talk to Yusuke about that first? Uh, why? I mean, Matarame was his teacher. It's not our place to be deciding something like this. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, let's talk to him. Why not? Help old boy out. Yeah, though this problem's bigger than just the three of us. Anyway, how about we all meet up at the hideout? Yep, sounds good. Okay, let me know when you want to meet and I'll tell you, Skay. It's Sunday evening. Send the calling card. We can read. Um, this still... I love the network. Spending time with people. I really want to spend... I can spend time with all those people. Everyone's average level 21. What the fuck is my level? Let's do it. 18? What, what am I doing wrong? What 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 am I doing wrong? We can't leave, can we? Can I leave? Hey. Okay, well let's talk to him then I guess. Yeah. We've heard this before. Well let's study then. Now listen up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you do? Let's study. He has intelligence up. In the meantime, I have this nice little Clementine that I've been wanting. I see you're able to solve these problems rather quickly. Hope you're not just picking up the easy ones. You're making some good progress. I can see the wisdom in your eyes. Cool, cool. So, I have it on auto. Is it not going to continue on its own? Oh, there we go. Hello, what up? Now we're scholarly! I feel like there was someone who wanted me to be scholarly, but I don't know who it was. Turn up. You tie yourself up, you keep at it, you should stop for today and get some sleep. Cool. I really hope this is sweet, because if it's not, I'm going to be very, very sad. And y'all are going to witness it firsthand. It's wet and juicy, so maybe. That's alright. Hey, hey. Hmm. Sour. Hmm. Where's his eyeballs? Oh, juice went down the pipe. Sorry, but I'm in a bit of a hurry. You go to Shujin, right? 
So jumpy about like you're anything special. Uh. Thank you so much. I'm sorry for the trouble. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine now. It was pretty scary though. something so what made you step in to help me I see well I apologize for asking something so strange you're headed to the cleanup as well right the cleanup what was the time I'm so sorry I haven't even thanked you properly yet oh no I forgot my gym clothes at school I'll see you at the cleanup soon. We can talk more then if you'd like. Pardon me. <coughs> Pop the choke on orange juice. Cool. Flourishing with natural beauty. This park is the pride of Kichi Joji. Natural respect. Get away from the stress of city life. Couples often ride boats in the pond. All right. New hangout spot. You can also invite people who may like it there to hang out with you. That's cool. Yo, what took you so long? <laughs> Did you really come here from home in your gym clothes? It must be so nice to be a guy. Huh? Ain't it normal? And, uh, are you planning on doing this cleanup in that outfit? Of course not! I brought my gym clothes with me. I was gonna change in the bathroom, but now there's a huge line. Oh, that makes sense. Sounds like it sucks to be a girl. Such a nice day out that even the weather seems to be mocking us. Dude, could you try pushing your way into our conversation a little less awkwardly next time? I bet some Kichi Joji clean freak hung paper dolls all over and prayed for clear skies today. Hey. Morning, everyone. <coughs> oh? Are you here for the cleanup too, Doc? You got it. Uh, in those clothes? Oh, no. I'm in a different... There you are, Dr. Maruki. We're going to start prepping soon. Prepping what? I'm part of the cooking crew. Hope you're looking forward to a solid meal. Cooking crew. See you all later. To the loo. Low block. I can't remember if I brought any starchy vegetables. More like Dr. Popular. I'm sure the Phantom Thieves will be even bigger someday. You just say that all loud? She get annoying. Once the cleanup is completed, a lunch of miso soup with pork and vegetables will be served. Ooh, pork miso soup. So that's what Dr. Maruki's fan club is making. <gasps> Excuse me. FYI, the school already assigned the groups at random. There are four people apiece. <laughs> Excuse me. Boys and girls mixed. Oh, really? Now that those announcements have been made, please break into your 
Yo, why they always gotta separate the dream teams? Alright. Let's just get this over with as fast as possible. Chow down on that soup and get out of here. Hey, that guy? Yeah, him. Is he that transfer student? Y'all still talking yeah. shit? Him and the one in all the crazy rumors? Keep it down. What if he hears us? Ugh. Anyone who just dumps a broken umbrella on the ground like this is human garbage. Oh, before you trash it, you have to make sure you separate the plastic parts from the metal frame. Separate it? How? Like this. Oh, Jamie, awesome. you just put... <coughs> I had no idea you knew about that kind of stuff, Takamaki-san. I bet you'd make a wonderful wife. Oh, nah. Sweet, a wallet. Anything in it? Whoa, yeah, shit ton. We go in splitsies on this? Ah! Wait, shouldn't we take that to a police box? What? How was that weird? Man, this park is trash. There's no way this was all done by kids. It's gotta be the work of some no-good adult. Right? If you don't mind, may I have the cap on that bottle? Huh? Sure. Oh, you a collector? Uh, not exactly. Recycling companies collect these and convert them into vials for vaccines. Huh, I didn't know that. Well, that sounds like an awesome way to bring more justice to the world. I'm sorry, but I'm not sure I follow you. Before I add taro to the pot, I have to rub them with salt to reduce the sliminess. Oh, you're an amazing chef. I do cook pretty often at home. Let me try this little technique here. Uh huh? What the... Why is the wind salty? I know he didn't. Uh, sorry. The cleanup is officially complete. Thank you for your hard work, everyone. Would the leader of each group please come and get the soup for their team? That's a lot of soup to carry. So, after the soup sold out, everyone's free to do whatever they want. Huh. Including getting the hell out of here. Oh, okay. Thank you for everything. I don't know the best way to put it, but it sure was a crappy time out there. Oh! I finally found you. I was trying to find you so I could thank you properly for this morning. So, where'd the other people in your group go? <laughs> We've disbanded. They ditched me. Ah, I see. So they suck. In pretty much the same situation. You want to be friends? If it's all right with you, why don't we eat our soup together? Sure. Great. <laughs> she my first dating Let's prospect. Proceed. I want to thank you again for this morning. That man was even more frightening than he might have appeared to you. So I truly appreciate what you did for me. Thank you so much. Sorry, but I'm not even finished. There's one more issue I need to address. I'm also so sorry for what's happened the other day. <laughs> About what? The run-in we had outside of the guidance office. Remember the discussion we just had? There are a number of students in this school you shouldn't get involved with. This one's at the top of the list. Oh, the delinquent transfer student? Oh, she was talking shit. Mr. Kamoshida had just told me about you a moment prior, so I sort of spoke without thinking there. I heard some of my classmates gossiping about you, too. They always gossip him. Were you disappointed? Were you surprised? I haven't paid it any real mind. I don't like gossip or rumors and the like. 
And I know this will sound strange since I just met you, but you don't seem like the kind of person they describe. It'd be a different story if all those rumors were actually true, though. Like for all the crimes I'd heard? Burglary, murder, and elephant test trafficking, was it? Ooh. I can tell you're joking. Hmm? You know what? It just hit me. I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm Kai Hazake. Oh, I'm sorry to make you go first. I apologize this was such a long time coming, but I hope we can get along well. I believe you already learned from our meeting at school that- Kids with a motive? Oh, that was supposed to happen. Oh! just happened no look it seems to be a shooting academy pocketbook the name Kasumi Yoshizawa is written inside Hi, just in time here you are don't let go of things you like okay sorry I didn't mean to run out on you like that It's like, you dropped this. Huh? <laughs> I guess you sleuthed me out before I got to tell you. Well, you've cracked the case. I'm Kasumi Yoshizawa, a first year. That was impressive. You mean that back there? Oh, it was just some basic gymnastics. Basic? It's not that difficult once you get the hang of it. Just a hop, skip, and a jump. Gymnastics, huh? Hey. Don't you think some of those moves would be awfully useful? Not to replace her, we'll let her face. I was just thinking about how the Phantom Thieves need to get some sweeter moves, too. What's the matter, Senpai? Wait, is there a cat somewhere around here? I want to learn your moves. Does that mean you're interested in gymnastics? That makes me so happy. I'd be honored if you'd allow me. The only problem is... I have a favor to ask for myself as well, if you wouldn't mind. I mind. Lately, I haven't been getting the results I want from my performances, and I'm worried that I'm overthinking things. So it would be wonderful if you could give me some advice whenever you have the time. Sure you want my help? Of course I am. I'm not looking for technical coaching so much as just lending me an ear from time to time. I see. Sounds like a pretty sweet deal to me. What do you think? Hope I'm helpful to you. Thank you. Then we've cut a deal. <laughs> Lord Jesus. I've read in the reports that the Phantom Thieves' physical abilities are more acrobatic than the average person's. It seems you gained an aptitude for specialty equipment as well. Wouldn't a natural conclusion to draw be that you were trained by an expert in that field? Well, tell me the truth. Bitch, I ain't got an answer. Mm. I am which shall become the birth of the faith persona. Birth, birth. I have a faith persona. Kasumi Yoshizawa. All right. Cool. Oh, why don't we exchange contact information? Sure. Huh? It shut down. Sorry, my smartphone's been acting up lately. This is a smartphone. It's back. Okay, I'll contact you when I've got free time, if that's fine. Attention, Shujin Academy students. The cleanup event will be ending momentarily. What do they do with all the balls Please and shit? Do not discard your trash in the bins here. Instead, bring your waste to the predetermined location for disposal. After that, we will be officially releasing everyone for the day. Thank you all for your hard work. Well, the cleanup seems to be finished. We're already in our gym clothes. Would you care for some basic training before heading home? Let's start with some core exercises. Those are the foundation for staying in shape. 
I'm sure you moved the cast in me. Kasumi? Kasumi? Oh, I forgot her damn name. <coughs> so I can't send the thing? Yo. Well, the box came for you. Hey. What'd you get? The shit that I ordered. Finally home. Ugh, you're all dusty. Hurry up and get changed. Ooh. Let's see if we can. Can I leave here? Oh, yeah, I can. But can I get to the hideout? Can I get to the hideout or no? Can't go to the hideout. That's annoying. Mm, I guess I'm kind of somebody. Ooh. One of these days I'll figure out this stand. Is he the one that needs me to have the knowledge? Please consider what I have to say. You. Is it? Um, dedication. I don't know how to get a job there. <laughs> That's the thing. The beef. Okay, we need to find the beef bowl shop. Right? Bookstore. Hey kid, I heard Marame says it's gotten pretty popular. Do you like his work? I don't care about it. Just as for how most people feel, I used to be an artist myself. Dreamt of having my own exhibition. I was the apprentice to someone well known within the art circle, but that was a long time ago. Oh, I can hang out with Mishima. Remember that group a while back who were claiming to hack websites in the name of justice? I had pretty high hopes for them, but they turned out to be posers. The Phantom Thieves are true heroes. I want to help out however I can. Hey, do you remember that horrible person I texted you about? You're going to change their heart, right? I believe if anyone can do it, it's the Phantom Thieves. Oh, that's it? That's the gun guy that I don't want to hang out with. But actually, I could still probably go. I had to go in there for something, wasn't it? The bag? Any more guts? Come on. That's all I need to do. More guts and figure out the underground walkway. More guts, figure out the walkway, and also meet that guy. I want to do the challenge. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just spend all the money. Thank you very much. Okay. Now then. Thirty minute challenge. He ain't gonna eat it all. I just need his guts to go up, honestly. That's all I that's literally all I need. Just for I just need his all this meat makes sense for a challenge of cosmic mm. proportions. So much left. I guess take quite a bit more courage to tackle this challenge. How do I increase my proficiency? Hmm. Not enough for my guts are still bold. We got a hot minute to go, y'all. I need like a guide to like how to best increase your stats. Okay, now we have to send that goddamn thing. Oh my god. That... Hey, we totally searched the palace already, right? They give us only until this weekend, so we should send the calling card soon. Let's send it immediately. <laughs> it's finally time. Well, let's meet up after school. I'll be waiting at the hideout. My hair is also invisible because it's low key green. Because it, you know, the dye has. Settled down. Um, actually got into fishing lately, although it's just pond fishing from time to time. 
I can't go sea fishing because I get seasick easily, so much of my dream of being a sailor. Oh right, when people think of sailing in the high seas, they tend to think of pirates, even though they're ruffians who plunder other ships and coastal settlements through force. For some reason, they ended up getting romanticized. Now then, Harake Kun. Oh no, man. Do you know which peg-legged parrot toting historical figure's appearance became visual shorthand for- what? I'm gonna say James Cook, or Captain Kid. John Sil- oh, uh, Long John Silver? Makes sense. That is correct. The answer is Long John Silver, a character from Treasure Island. The story of Long John Silver informed much of our modern view of pirates. Unfortunately, he only exists in fiction in terms of non-fictional pirates. Well, Captain William Kidd made quite a name of himself, I'd say. Maybe you're familiar with the story of his execution, how he declared that he hid all his treasure in one place. Well, he got it right. Is he really a criminal? Yes. He seems like a punk, but maybe he's actually serious about studying. Wow, you must really you must be really smart to be able to answer a question like that. No. Nope. Put up the knowledge pool. The research seems to indicate that he didn't actually have much. Still, several novels were written based on his legend, and people still look for his treasure today. By the way, I've heard that there's an island in Kyushu where kids' treasure is said to sleep. His secret treasure, huh? Regardless of its actual worth, there's still value in letting that many people dream about it. I guess. Da, 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 da. I didn't think she would come. Oh, maybe she's skipping practice. I hate those events. All they do is make me dirty and tired. Think they'll do it again next year? If they are, I'm definitely skipping. Why the goody two shoes first year come along? Her whole I'm not bothered routine really pisses me off sometimes. I mean, all that's left is a calling card. Let's send it right away, yeah? Oh, yeah, we said we'd meet at the hideout, didn't we? Okay, let's head there now. We can now take him down, yes? Matarame is going to be a changed man. There won't be any way to avert it, though. You sure you're okay with that? I have thought it over carefully. And I cannot think of a future in which he does not pay his dues. He has preyed not only on the art world, but on countless talents. So, I humbly request your help. Cool. I apologize for making you do this. Not at all. We just didn't want to impose if you weren't feeling up to it, Yusei. But if you're already determined to do it, then there's nothing more for us to say. If I recall, our next step is sending a calling card, correct? <laughs> what a suave maneuver. It's not about acting cool. The calling card is a way to trigger a change in his cognition. A change in cognition? Uh, that reminds me, you went through some trouble regarding that before. Ah, he must be talking about when we forced open that security gate in the courtyard. The palace is a cognitive world, so changing its ruler's cognition changes the topography, I think. Very nicely put, Lady An. You're absolutely correct. This will be a vital tactic from here forward. Actually, may I ask a truly basic question? You continue to mention cognition quite readily, but why does this world formed from materialized cognitions even exist to begin with? Don't tell me. Has it always existed while we go about our daily lives, completely oblivious? Honestly, I'm not sure. At the very least, I know it existed before the Kamoshida instance, but that's all. I see. Crap, I totally caught me off guard with that. Kind of weird thinking there might be whole worlds we just don't know a damn thing about. Has a thought ever crossed your mind? Don't be so anxious. You don't even know everything about the city you live in, after all. All that's important is that we know how to make use of that world and how to traverse it. So we're gonna send the sending. We're gonna send this calling card off in a hot second. Um, in the next part, obviously. But like, comment, and subscribe, share with all your friends. Be the best shoes you can be. Make good choices. Stay saucy. But you know the drill. 
come out this bitch. 